Mo's Garage. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage, and I'm Jimbo. It's a Sunday fun day, and I kind of had the hankering to build something today. And it just so happens that uh, last night, a friend of mine stopped by the shop and asked me if I'd be interested in uh, making him a little bracket to hold his uh, air conditioner. Um, little window air conditioner I guess and uh, needs a little bracket to have that thing set on to hang outside the window I asked him okay sure what do you got in mind he said well I think it needs to kind of be a little something like this and a little something like that and kind of this big and kind of that tall and so I sketched something out on paper let me show you what we got all right well hope you can see that let me grab my little pointy stick my little 6013 uh, electrode here all right what we got here is looking down from the top yeah, it's supposed to be an uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half angle iron. Uh, I want to put a little floor in the bottom here. It's roughly going to be 19 inches this way. going to be 15 inches this way. Looking at it side, uh, it's probably going to look like this. We're going to have a bracket going up here and I'm put a little angle brace across this way. And uh, let's got 16 inches tall. A couple holes here to mount where he wants to mount it. And then looking head on. Uh, yeah, 19, 16, uh, anyways, there it is, I uh, hope you get the picture, eh, yeah, like I do, yeah, okay, let's do it. Alright, so what we got here, we're going to get started with, um, got some uh, inch and a half, uh, eighth inch thick angle iron, um, I'm going to make some measurements, get over here to my cold saw. If the thing's cut out on a 45 degree angle, we'll start by making the base for this air conditioner, roughly 19 by 15. Uh, I'll also cut off a couple of legs or a couple of the brackets, the side brackets that are going to mount towards the wall, if you will, or the back side, um, so they can mount it to whatever they're going to mount it to. It's going to hang in front of the window, I guess. I guess. Kind of. All right. So let's do it. YouTube got all the angles cut out here so now we're uh, gonna get started by just putting the basic frame together tacking it in and then uh, we'll go from there I'm just gonna go ahead and start by clamping this piece of angle iron right square to this man wow that's money right there all right um, I think that'll work all the way around, so let's go ahead and get this thing tacked up. And I'm going to go ahead and start by sliding on my sleeves. These, uh, these sleeves put out by Lincoln Electric, uh, I don't know, because it's Southern California and it's summertime, or not even summertime, all year round. I, I'm a short sleeve kind of guy, so uh, you know I don't really wear a lot of jackets, even though I've got a welding jacket, but these things work pretty cool. You just uh, slide them over to the top. Covers up your arms real nice, covers up your sleeves, and it's almost like you got a jacket on. Pretty cool. All right, let's uh, get some old 7525 in here. I'm gonna crank up the uh, Everlast uh, Power I Make 205. Find our grounding clamp. There it is. Let's just uh, clamp that right to the work. We're going to be uh, MIG welding this, 8th inch material. I'm going to set this thing at about 18.4 18 on the bolts. We're going to run about 275. Uh, we can call it 275. 276 on the wire feet. All right, let's tack her in. Grab my Jackson Balder. Amazing helmet, by the way. It's probably the best, best helmet I've ever had. All right, let's get this thing tacked in. ends 
welded out, bottom weld in. Pretty cool. The next thing I guess is the, uh, the brackets. Yeah. Yeah, before I do that, I think I'm going to get the grinder out and I'm just going to grind these welds a little bit cleaner so everything fits nice and flush. That's just the way he wanted it, just like that. Clamp this thing in here. Now let's check the plug. Perfect. All right. Let's get a little tack on it. takes care of that. I'm going to end up, uh, only thing left to do, get these brackets on here. Let me just figure out how I'm going to do that. I got this, uh, 316 I'm just going to figure out exactly where it is. I'm going to put these brackets on. Get them cut out and get those welded on. All right, YouTube. Well, I, I didn't want to think too much about this. I did. I was trying to overanalyze everything. But anyways, I got, uh, I got a couple of these brackets uh, uh, cut out. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. It's going to go right up here at the top, right at the bottom. Uh, at first, I was a little concerned about that because I know that uh, they're going to want to drill a couple holes at the top right here. And I was concerned if this bracket might be in the way. I was thinking about bringing it down here a little bit. But it seems like the more I brought it down, the less support I was getting. And I didn't know where the holes were going to be drilled. So I had to help with it. I'm going up here where it should be and going down here. That's going to provide the best support. And I'm sure that they've got plenty of room to drill around this thing. So let's get it clamped on and get it welded in. that's it now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just slightly hit these edges right here so nothing's real sharp round things off a little bit um, and then we'll talk about what we're doing for the board. all right YouTube well check it out kind of looks like the picture we had earlier um, that's a side view if you remember that's kind of what the side view was gonna look like and Looking at it straight on, I don't know, it's kind of like it was, like it was, I don't know, it's looking like down at the top. The only thing we're missing is the floor. Now, what the uh, what the guy told me is uh, he, he thought he was gonna put a plywood floor in here, and I, and I, you know, at the time I just said, yeah, okay, whatever. But now thinking about it and, you know, being outside, rain, I don't know, these air conditioners might produce some condensation, I, I don't know, water, maybe everywhere. Plywood's probably not the best answer. So I happened to uh, rummage through my scrap bin and uh, check this out. I got some 3 16ths aluminum diamond plate. I think that would be a great uh, floor for this thing. Um, I'll cut it out to the size, drill some holes in there so water can uh, escape out when it rains or condensation or whatever. So that's what we're going to put on the floor of this thing. I'm going to cut this out with my plasma cutter. Let's, uh, let's get after it. All right, YouTube. Well, I got the diamond plate all fastened down. Got a straight edge on here. Uh, the only thing to do is fire up the Power Plasma 60S and rip some aluminum. Let's do it. 
piece right there. Never can find my stuff here. 18 and a half. 18 and a half exactly. 14 and a half. Right on the money. All right. Moment of truth. All right. Let's get a piece of work in here. Sweet! Check it out. I think that's just what we're looking for. Hello everyone, okay I'm back. Well, just before I was finished uh, getting ready to screw on the diamond plate, um, I decided that it would be best if I painted the unit first. So what I did is I took the time to, to take it outside, get it all painted, and of course I gotta let the paint dry, so then I decided to go in and have a little bite to eat for lunch. And I came out now to put it together. And usually I work on the opposite side of my work table here, which is the side the camera's on now. Um, I couldn't because I got two big windows behind me in the shop right there and the sun was shining through so bright that I couldn't control the light. So, switch the camera to this side. And I'm on this side of the table and hopefully we can finish up this project. But like I said, um, I got it all painted. And I got the diamond plate here, and I don't know as you can see, um, I've drilled like six random holes in the bottom of this diamond plate here for drainage. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this thing in. And what we have left here to do is I'm just gonna put four screws in here, and this project's gonna be complete. So let's finish it up. Beautiful. Snap the bit right in half. All right, you well, there it is. Diamond plates in. I would call the project complete. I do have to say, um, when this came into my shop late last night, I had some friends over here and uh, that was a few cocktails in and I didn't clearly think about what he was telling me about how to build it. I built it exactly the way that he described it to me. Um, but now looking at it, I guess it could work. I don't know his window application or how he plans on hanging it or what, what's happening. But what I understand is he's gonna drill a few holes and there must be some sort of a window header or something that goes across the outside and this thing's going to sit on that it must be a small little window but i guess it could go either way it could go like that or it could go like that and to the bottom side of the window air conditioner here on top i don't know but anyways there it is it's done the way you wanted it i'm sure that'll work just fine well i hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe for more Thanks. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.